What's up guys, Kwanzaa here. So I had to change locations because the, the room that I usually record like my videos in is actually a lot of windows. And so the lighting there was horrible guys. And so um, I had to kind of change up my location a little bit. But I wanted to share with you guys, if you seen my video earlier, you know that I was saying that I was going to where it's at today. Um, I think I actually had come from where it's at by the time I did that video. But in any case, I was telling you guys that I was going to do a consignment store haul. And I'm super excited. And as I set up my new location to get ready to do my consignment store haul, I actually uh, got a package in the mail. So I will start with that. I'm so excited, guys. I've been thinking about doing a video of... Um, you know, just a lot of the thrifting and a lot of consignment things that I purchase or secondhand things that I purchase. And I've found some really good stuff. And there are certain places that I go like where it's at, um, you know, to just kind of peruse and shop and see what kind of stuff they they have there. But there are also some things online that I do. And I um, uh, actually purchased a few things, you know, kind of getting my fall, winter wardrobe going. I purchased a couple of things and one of those things came in the mail today and I want to share it with you guys since I'm on camera and since it just came in. And they are these amazingly beautiful Stuart Wiseman um, suede, I don't even know what to, what to call them. Um, <laughs> they're not even suede. What is the, what is the, what is it? It's like the fine hairs, the um, Oh, what is it called? I can't even think of the name of them. But these boots here, guys, Stuart Wiseman, I actually got them from this online site called Tradesy. That's T-R-A-D-S-T-Y, Tradesy. And um, I've purchased a couple of things from that website, and I absolutely love. I've only per actually have purchased one, one jacket. It was like a really cool leather jacket. I think I'm, I am going to do this whole haul. Um, I purchased one leather jacket. Then I purchased quite a few pair of boots from these from them um, over the past couple of years. One of my friends hit me to this website a few years ago, and or a couple of years ago, and I have been hooked ever since. So um, I got these beautiful boots that just came in today. These are awesome, uh, just really, really cute. And I can't wait to wear these. I actually wanted a pair of, um, of like leopard boots, and I just never owned a pair. So I got these, got them at a great price. And um, I can't wait to wear them. So they came in today. And I actually, I don't know how much. Actually, so I actually um, purchased a pair of uh, fry boots. And they were like a little ankle boot or booty. And um, they were way too big. So I returned them. And when you return, you kind of get like store credit. So I returned them for store credit. And I ended up getting these in its place. And I think I may have paid, I think they were like $87. But I ended up paying like $20 for them because I already had like a store credit. And so I paid $87 for these really cute Stuart Weisman boots. Um, gorgeous. I actually already tried them on and they fit amazing. I cannot wait to wear these. And in fact, I'm going to show you the things that I got from Where Is That Today. Um, and you will be able to, uh, in, you know, in your own mind decide or kind of, you know, throw an outfit together for me. And you can see where I can really rock these boots with some of the amazing things that I bought today. So, uh, yeah, these were my uh, Trade Z Stuart Weizman's boots, uh, booties, leopard skin, gorgeous. Um, yeah, so is this leopard skin? I think so. Anyway. Yeah, gorgeous pair of boots that just came in the mail. And they have these little tassels thing on the back too, which I really like. So very cute boot, fit amazing. I wasn't sure. I like the, always like the pointy toe more than a round toe. Um, so love that these are a pointy toe kind of dress up boot. Can't wait to wear them. They're amazing. I definitely think I'll be wearing them one day next week or maybe even tomorrow, depending on what I have to do. Have to do. Anywho, that's what came in the mail just now. Um, and then today, as I mentioned in my video, uh, as I mentioned in my little uh, Facebook Live, I think, or maybe it was just a video, I don't know. But as I mentioned earlier, I went to where it's at. Again, you guys know that's one of my favorite consignment places to go. Um, Babe and I have a lot of running around to do today. And um, I really wanted to find me like a big, nice gray sweater. That's kind of what I was, you know, looking looking for. I wasn't really super looking like I wasn't running from store to store, store, or whatever. But while we were out, I just kind of told Babe that I wanted to stop at um, where it's at just to kind of see if they had this kind of sweater that I had in mind. Well, they didn't have the sweater that I had in mind, but they had some really cool things and I was able to find uh, some really good pieces. So I'm going to start from the least bedazzled, the least wow and get down to the wow. <laughs> but the least wow was, um, you guys know I love uh, free people 
and I always go to like their section and kind of see what they have because the way where it's at is set up um, they have one particular rack where they're um, a lot of their I guess name brands like free people and I can't think of what else is on there because that's the main one I usually go to uh, but they so they have like the section so I just kind of go to the free people section and kind of look through and see what I like what I want didn't see very much that I wanted to get but I did get these really cute little gray sweatpants um, and these are just great lounge pants got the little you know the tightness at the end little pockets I love these you know I'll throw these things in a wash and I will be you know wearing these as my um just as my kind of walk around pants but these are by free people they were originally let's see if I can find a tag they were originally $21 but they had a purple tag so they were on uh, sale for 30% off and so I actually paid $14.70 for them um, they were originally $21 so not too bad I don't think next I got so because I went in there for one thing specific, I didn't really kind of go in with a budget. I just kind of went in and was like, okay, I'll figure out, you know, if they have the sweater, I'll get the sweater and that's it. But once I realized that they didn't have the sweater and I was kind of looking and finding other pieces, I decided that I needed to set a budget. And so I set the budget the same as I usually set it, um, or at least just have in my mind how much I'm not going to spend, how much I'm not going to go over. And so um, I got to the register and... I thought that I was over the budget, so I ended up putting this item back. But then once they told me how much it was, I was like, oh, wait a minute, I have one more thing I wanted to get. So I went back and grabbed this item. And it's nothing really super snazzy, but like I said, I'm going to go from the, from the least wow to the biggest wow, uh, in my mind anyway. And so I found this red sweater, and I don't know how, it's really a beautiful red. It looks really bright um, as I'm looking at this camera. Um, it looks really bright, but it's not a, an overwhelming bright red. It's just a really pretty red um, sweater and it's, you know, it kind of has like, and it's, it's so, it's such a cute sweater. It's like one of those things you can either dress up or dress down. Like I could wear this with jeans or I can wear it with, um, you know, a nice pair of slacks or whatever, some cute boots. <laughs> um, but this is from Banana Republic. It was $21 and I don't think it was on sale. Um, yeah, it wasn't on sale, so it was $21. Um, but I really like this. I love the color and mostly everything I get is usually black and gray and, uh, brown taupe I kind of you know hang in that area with regards to color and occasionally I'll get something with a little pop of color and this is definitely um, a bigger pop of color than I would usually go for um, so I'm excited about it I think it's a really cute sweater I can totally see myself wearing this like with just regular slacks and you know whatever I wear with it but really cute um, really cute sweater like I said that was $21 it wasn't on sale the next item is kind of sort of what I had in mind, but it's not the gray sweater that I was looking for. But this is a really cute gray sweater um, and it's kind of thin. So I was actually looking for like a thermal or something that you can wear um, under it. And in fact, when I was looking for the thermal to wear under this, that's when I came across this little red sweater thing. Because it's kind of, it has like a knit, like a thermal um, kind of look and feel. Um, so I thought that there would be thermals in that area, but I came across this in any case. Um, I found this gray sweater, which is a long sweater. It's really cute, and I love it so much. Again, it has like a V. Um, I'm not a big fan of the V-neck, but um, this one isn't too overwhelming. Like, it's not an overwhelming V-neck. It kind of, you know, this sits on my shoulders, so the V really just is like hair, so you don't have to worry about anything showing or anything, um, like cleavages and anything of those sorts. Um, <laughs> What was that voice? Uh, but in any case, I love too because it has like this little patch detail on the elbow, which I think is really cute. But all in all, it's just like a really cute gray sweater. It's a long, lengthy sweater. I love things that I can just throw on like with jeans or with, you know, leggings. I'm like super casual, guys. And I think fall is like without question my favorite season. So I love a great sweater, some really cute boots, some nice jeans and you know, just kind of call it a day and go about my business. So either like some nice leggings with a long, tall pair of boots and a good, really good sweater and, you know, a really cute coat. Like that's kind of my whole style, you know, in the fall and in the winter. And those are my favorite. Well, the fall is my absolute favorite season, mainly because of fashion. Um, and I'm no fashionista, but I really love, like I really love how I dress in the fall. All the other seasons, I'm just meh, but in the fall... Your girl be fly than a mugs. I know. <laughs> I just love how I dress in the fall. Anyway, this little sweater, um, it was originally $18. It's by Retrod. 
R-E-T-R-O-D, Retrod. I'm not familiar. Um, but it was originally $18 and I got it on sale. It was 30% off. And so I probably spent, let's see, $18, 30% off. I probably spent maybe 14, no. Yeah, uh, actually $12.60 is what I got it for. So that's a great deal, I think. And I will really get some really good wear. Like I said, I can do this with jeans or with leggings um, and just, just a really cute, cute, cute sweater. And that's kind of what I was looking for. But not really. It was great. <laughs> so the next thing that I found, I actually, um, like I said, a lot of what I wear, I'm always drawn to black. Like, I just am. Um, that's one of my favorite colors. I don't know why. It just is. I think everything looks great in black. Um, well, not everything. I think I look great in black. Um, and you can find some really cool black pieces. It's just, it's easy, I think. I think black is easy for me. Um, and so I found this really cute... I'm going to try not to keep saying really cute, but this sweater, guys, I don't even know what it's made of. I don't even know if you guys can see it, but it almost seems like a leather sweater. Um, but the inside feels like regular sweater material, but the outside is like this leathery kind of feel. And it seems like they may have just put some kind of treatment or something on the sweater to create this texture, but it is almost like a leather. I don't know if you guys can, I, you can kind of see the shine on it. But it's just like a regular sweater, but it, it is soft. It's not like hard or it's stiff or any of those things. It's just a really cute, really cool sweater. Um, it is also a V-neck. Again, not too overwhelming. The V doesn't come like down too far. It's like the perfect V-neck. Um, but I also love that it has like these little zippers in the front. I don't know if you can see that this little zipper detail um, in the front, which is pretty cool on both sides. That's pretty cool. So you can, you know, zip it or leave it, you know, um, zip it up or unzip it you know however you want to do but i think that's a really cool detail and this was not on sale um but it's such a beautiful piece and it was 32 dollars and 32 dollars not on sale and it's by ella ella moss um but just a really cute really cute sweater and i just love the texture of this i love it love it love it i don't know if you guys i don't know if i've mentioned it but i have been like on this project runway um, marathon watching this thing like non-stop I think there were like 16 seasons and I kind of started with season 16 and was kind of working my way back so for the past couple of weeks I have been like on this project runway marathon and I've been enjoying every minute of it um, except for the last one um, I think the winner of season 14 I didn't agree with that at all so I kind of took a pause after that but anywho you, you're not here for that um, but anyway on top of buying this really cute really cool sweater um, I also came across these black leggings or black jeans. I keep saying leggings, but they're like a leather and they're like a faux leather. But these things fit like so incredible and they're black and they, they just fit like amazing and they're really comfortable. I actually tried these on with this black sweater and it looks beautiful. And can you guys imagine those that black sweater and these boots? Crazy, 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 crazy cute. Um, but this, the jeans felt, you know, fit and felt amazing. Um, they looked really super dope, super cool with that sweater. Uh, these are a pair of AG jeans. I'm not familiar, um, but they're made in America, a pair of AG jeans, and they are really cute. They have like this, um, I know they're not leather. I don't know what the material is, but it's a really cool material, and um, they fit amazing. Like, you, you know, got a lot of stretch and a lot of give and a lot of room, so... I am a fan, and I got these for, I'm sorry, I almost forgot to say how much they cost. I got these for, they had a purple tag, which means they were on sale. They were originally $48.95, but with the purple tag, they were 30% off. So I got them for about $37, let us see, I got them for oh, $34.27, so that's not too bad. Um, and AG, I don't know what that is, but it says made in America, which is cool. You get some stuff that's made in America. I'm not mad at that. Um, then I actually, uh, I was thinking about uh, doing another video. I think I was sharing with you guys. I wanted to do, I was thinking about doing a video of um, just all the things that I got, like through thrifting and, and all that stuff. But I was thinking about another video to do. Um, like I said, I love this season and I love coats and I love jackets and so I thought about doing a video uh, just showing you guys some of my uh, fall and winter coats and jackets and 
when I say I have some really cool, really cute coats and jackets, like really cool stuff. So I thought about doing a video of that. And I said I was going to say because of my next item. Um, so this time of season, I actually have quite a few jackets with this kind of material. Um, I have some that's, you know, the full sleeves. I have some that's just, um, uh, 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 what do they call it, like just a vest without the sleeves. Um, I have some that's long. I have some that's short. I have some with the hood. I have them without the hood. I have them in black. I have them in gray. So I have a lot of jackets like this, and I just really like these. And um, I kind of came across this one and thought, ooh, I like that. And this was, again, one of, one of the last items I think I picked up. I actually picked this up as... Did I pick this up as I was putting the other things back? No, because I had this in the fitting room with me. So I don't know when I picked this up. I think I picked this up as I was picking up like that red sweater or whatever. But in any case, this is a really cute Calvin Klein um, jacket, like puffer jacket. Um, and the sleeves are made normal. I think this is kind of like if you're going working out or running or walking or just some kind of outdoor um, activity, I think. It would have been great for a day like today. Like you know, when you're in and out of your car. I love it because it always has like this little, like in the sleeves where you can kind of put your thumb through. Um, but this is like a really great jacket. Like if you're in and out of your car and you don't want to, um, uh, um, you know, you don't want to put on like a really big coat. Uh, I think this is a great coat for that. Really cute, feels really good, fits amazing. Um, this was, like I said, it was a Calvin Klein. Um, yeah, Calvin Klein. Uh, little jacket and this was originally or their price price where is that price was $24.95 and it was 30% off a purple tag and so I got it for it looks like $17.47 is what I paid for it so that's a pretty good deal so I really like that I love the way that it's made in the back I just love it it's just a really cute really cool um kind of you know winter jacket and again it's black right um, and so I'm coming down to my last couple of items. So the crazy thing is my husband and I, um, my company, they actually were, um, uh, uh, I guess sponsoring this charity benefit and they had tickets to go. And I thought it was this evening and, you know, we were excited about it. Come find out it was last night. So I actually missed it. But in any case, um, as we were driving, I was thinking about what I was going to wear. I had this really cute outfit in mind. Um, and I was thinking, oh, I think I would love a pair of black, like, patent leather pumps to go with that outfit. And um, I was trying to remember, do I have any black pumps? And I think the black patent leather pumps that I did have, because I have, like, suede pumps. I have, like, some knitted, like, black pumps. I have some really cute black pumps, but I didn't have any black patent leather pumps. And I remember the pair that I did have, I gave them away probably about a year ago when I did that big shoe, you know, giveaway. And I was just giving away all these shoes, those boxes of shoes. Um, so I was like, darn, I think I gave my gray, um, my black patent leather pumps away. But then I was kind of thinking, I really don't really want a pair of black patent leather pumps. But because God loves me so much <laughs> and he just provides, um, I came across these shoes, guys. And like I said, I did. I wanted some black patent leather pumps, but I did. And then I saw these. If you guys can see this amazing shoe, just bring tears to my eyes. It is a black patent leather. I'm gonna pull it up as close to the camera as I can with these details. When a guy, these guys, these gold details. Can you see that? Look how beautiful that darn shoe is. Can you guys see that? And then my favorite pointy toe. Such a cute shoe. I, 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 I was like, thank you, Lord. Such a beautiful shoe. And this is uh, by Taylor Says. I'm not familiar with the brand. I don't know who that is, but I'm telling you something. She can design a pump. I tell you that much. That is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pump. And it would have went amazing with the outfit that I was going to wear tonight. But I'll tell you what, I have been invited to some, you know, holiday parties. The holidays are coming up and, you know, you're invited to different parties and different, you know, different gatherings or whatever. And I'm going to, I tell you what, I'm going to get some wear out of these shoes because I've already got in my mind what I'm going to wear this with. And it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be amazing. Um, this is a great shoe. Absolutely beautiful pair of shoes. Absolutely beautiful pair of shoes. I can't even, and they fit, they fit really good. They're not tight, they're not too big. They're perfect size. It was like, it was made for me, meant for me, 
purpose for me. Beautiful pair of shoes. Um, they were, let me see the price. They were uh, 34, let me see. No, they were $24.95, but they had the purple tag, which means that, meant that they were 30% off. And so I think I paid, what do we say, $24.95 was like $17.47? Somewhere around there. Yep, $17.47. So I paid $17.47 for these amazing, look at that, amazing freaking shoe. And I love it that it has the patent leather, but it's not, because I didn't want just a regular patent leather pump. I didn't want anything that was going to be too, you know, and this is just so stylish, guys. So freaking stylish. I love it. And look at the bottom of it. I mean, I'll show you on this one because this has the tag. But look at the bottom of that. Can you see the detail? That is a beautiful freaking shoe. And it doesn't even look like they've been worn. Like the bottom, you can see, oh, and it has like the signature right there. That is a beautifully designed shoe. Beautifully designed shoe. Um, and it looks like there's a little scuff here. I can kind of feel it and you can probably see it if I put it up close enough. But these shoes barely look worn. Like this heel barely looks, it looks barely worn. Um, so for $17, like this was uh, breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. So I was super jazzed and super excited about this shoe. And while um, uh, the girl Molly that works there, she went to go get the match. So the way they have it set up, they'll have one shoe sitting out and then they'll have the match and the, um, so this one was I don't know which one was sitting out, but um, they have one shoe sitting out. It must have been this one because this one has the price tag on it. But they have one shoe sitting out, and then the other one is in the back. So once you let them know, yeah, I think I want to get these, then they go in the back and get the other shoe. And so needless to say, um, you know, after I did all my shopping, they had put all my other stuff in the dressing room, and Molly was going back to get the shoe. And as I'm standing there waiting for her to come back to get the shoe, I'm just kind of looking around, minding my business, look over my shoulder, and I get a glimpse of this thing the most beautiful <laughs> most beautiful thing i've seen and i look over and i just scurry over and grab it you know not that people were swarming or anything but i just i was so drawn to this jacket guys i i can't believe it this was like i said i'm going from the from the men to the most wow this was the most wow I seen this thing across the room. You know, I always start to start the dramatic story. I seen it across the room. And I just grabbed it and was like, <gasps> and then I put it on. And I'm gonna try to. Oh, and it is. I thought it was just like a black faux fur coat. When I tell you this shoe, by the way, when I tell you that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh, can you guys see? I don't know if standing up is going to help, but can you guys see this coat? I wish you guys can touch it. <laughs> I wish you can feel it. It feels amazing, guys. And it just has like the, you know, regular flip down collar. The collar's not doing anything super special, but it is just the most uh, fashionable little black what I thought was faux fur that I had seen and I'm trying to zip it up so you guys can get the full effect. Look at that and it has pockets and this is totally something like today I have on jeans. This is totally something you can wear with jeans. You can wear with um, obviously dress it up and again with the holiday season upon us. You know sometimes you have on like a really cute dress or really you know, spectacular, whatever it is that you're wearing. And sometimes you just want a nice mink coat or a fur coat to go with it. Um, and when I came across this, I was just like, yeah, absolutely. Put it, <laughs> put it in a bag. I'm getting it. And this had become that item for me, right? Remember I was saying before where, you know, there's that item that you're like, okay, everything else, I, I'm totally getting this and everything else is going to have to fall in line. And this was that item for me. Um, and I didn't even look at the price, I just grabbed it. And once I got into the fitting room and I tried it on and I just absolutely fell in love with it, um, I was like, yeah, I'm definitely totally getting it. Uh, fortunately, when I, it was only, guys, it was $48.95. $48.95. And I was like, that's cool, you know, faux leather coat is really cute, whatever, $48. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Um, and then I got to the register. 
And as they were ringing things up, you know, the girl Molly, she's kind of getting my stuff and taking the tags off so they can ring it up. Um, and then she's like, um, I was like, yeah, this is a really cute, you know, faux fur coat. She was like, oh, that's not faux. I was like, what? And she was like, no, that's rabbit. I was like, girl, shut up. Are you serious? And so when I look at it now, looking at the tag, and I don't know if you guys can see the tag, and I don't want to get all braggadocious showing you the tag, but I'm going to try to see. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know if the camera will zoom in on it. I just don't know if you guys can see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'm probably doing the most, like honestly, I'm probably doing way, way more than I need to. But if you can see that top line, it says 100%. Hold up, what did it say? <laughs> 100%, hold up. 100% genuine fur. This thing is a freaking full, a freaking fur coat guys she said it's rabbit this is rabbit for $48.95 and it feels amazing um it actually taught you know on the dry cleaning um or the cleaning uh, instructions it says uh what did it say it says um sorry oh, i can't even see let me see let me see let me see oh it says uh to clean contact a cleaning specialist so yeah so for what? This is 100% fur rabbit. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm kind of like, do I, am I okay with wearing fur? I think for $48.95, I think I am. I think I am. I was just listening to um, uh, Hassan Minaj's uh, um, Patriot Act. If you guys haven't seen that, there's a show on Netflix. It's like um, a series that he does. He does it every week. And this week he was talking about Amazon. That's probably a whole nother um, discussion. But one of the things he was saying is that I'm more, he was like, I'm more, um, what did he say? I'm more, oh, how did he say it? Like I'm more comfortable than I am woke or something like that. So his whole point was like, yeah, I try to stay woke and I try to stay conscious, but sometimes you just got, you go for comfort. And he was talking about how Amazon is like monopolizing everything. And you know, part of him want to protest, but then it's like, but I love Amazon and I'm right there with you, Hassan. I love Amazon. But in any case, <laughs> that's kind of how I feel about this coat. It's like, yeah, I don't want to eat meat, but I love this coat guys. And that's why I could never really, like even when I started eating, like trying to eat differently, um, I was like, I know I can never become just like a whole vegetarian because I still like leather and I still like fur. So, ugh, don't call Peter on me, but I love this, guys. I just want to sit here and just sit with it. Just, just like that. Just right there. <laughs> All right, that just got weird. But I love this coat. It was only $48.95. Of course, it wasn't on sale. It didn't need to be because I was there for it. I'm telling you, this coat was probably my whole budget. Would I have gotten it? Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. What I would have done though, and this is this is this is the thing, what I would have done was uh look to increase my budget just so that I can get this, and then would have thought, okay, what can I go without, you know, in the future that will help me to get this coat. So that's what I would have done. Uh, but anyway, in any case, those were my amazing finds to, at today's uh, Where It's At shopping experience. I'm sorry, set on my resume, uh, uh, resume, set on my receipt. <laughs> my amazing shopping experience. It was a great day, guys. Um, and so, uh, like I said, when I got there, I kind of set a budget in mind. I usually use the same budget when I shop there, which is a budget of like $250. Um, I have yet to go over that budget. I think I did one year, but that was only because I bought Mia some stuff. And so then when I reduced that or deducted that from the final price, I was still under budget because uh, I let Bay pay for that. Um, but in any case, my budget was $250 and I ended up spend, spending uh, $210. So that was like, you know, $40 under budget. So I had a great time. I always have such a wonderful time uh, shopping at where it's at. Um, they have some just some really great pieces. And I, I think I say this every time I do a video um, for those guys or, you know, about my experience shopping there. It is like the best shopping experience ever. I just have such a great time just walking through and looking, you know, just looking through the racks. And it's crazy because like they know my name and I don't know if that, should, if that means I'm there too much <laughs> or what, but I don't even go that often. I think I may go maybe twice a year. If I get there three times, like this was... 
I got there three times a year this time and I probably won't be back. I'm sure I won't be back before the, end, the year ends. Um, but every time I go, I just find some of the most amazing pieces that I feel like is just for me. In fact, with this, um, with this uh, rabbit jacket, uh, when I put it on a, the counter, Molly was like, we just put that out there. I said, you just put it out there for me because it was meant for me to get it. That's why I'm here to pick up my jacket. <laughs> so my jacket and these shoes. So yes, today was a good day shopping at where it's at. I was under budget. I bought some amazing things that I am totally going to wear. Um, and then I think I am going to do another video, not today though, but I will do a video just to share with you guys. Um, I thought it was odd. And I don't know if I mentioned this in this video or if I mentioned it before, but I thought it was odd. I was watching a, a, a program earlier today and there was a commercial and the commercial was advertising like a buffet. And I was just like, eh, you know, I'm like so not the buffet eating kind of person. Like I will not eat from a buffet. Um, but I thought it was funny. It's like you won't eat from a buffet, but you'll shop secondhand clothes. Yeah. So I don't know if there's something to that, but um, yeah. Um, so I, I, def I think I'm definitely going to do the video just to show you guys some of the amazing things that I purchased, um, not just from stores like where it's at, but also purchased from, um, you know, some of the other, like maybe online consignment or secondhand stuff. Um, so really the only places that I've kind of gone is where it's at. That's like one of my faves. Um, and I want to do just some of the designer pieces that I got, not just anything that I got, but some really cool designer pieces that I got. Um, like from where it's at, I got like a Gucci bag. I'll share that with you guys. Um, I got a pair of Milano Blahniks that I absolutely love. I'll share that with you guys. I got a pair of Burberry boots that I love. I'll share that with you guys. Um, just some awesome, awesome finds. I got, um, uh, I think from, um, um, what's the other one? Um, Trade Z, the one I talked about with these boots where I got these boots from. Uh, from them, I got some, I got several pairs of like Gucci boots. I got, um, I think from Tracy, I got a pair of Prada boots. I think from uh, Real Real, actually, the Real Real, the Real Real. Um, I only shopped there once and I actually just shopped there. It was like this week and I got a pair of brown Prada boots, guys. And when I tell you those things are delicious. You hear me? I, I think I am going to do I probably do that video since we have a long weekend. I might do that video either tomorrow or Monday just to show you guys. Like you can frown on secondhand consignment if you want to, but you can find some amazing stuff. And yeah, I found some amazing stuff. So I think I'm going to do that video this week and may, or this weekend. And maybe, you know, this weekend, if I really feel up to it, seeing the kind of how the response is, I may do the video about like my outerwear, you know, winter, fall, going into that, or fall into winter, um, kind of sharing some of my, uh, you know, some of my outerwear. But I have rambled long enough. Thank you guys for enduring this video with me. I will have the, in the uh, directions, not directions, but the address for where it's at um, in the description of this video. But thank you guys for tuning in. I Hope, let me know what you thought. Let me know what your favorite piece was if you made it to the end. Let me know what your favorite piece was because I'll tell you hands down, the coat is my favorite. And, and well, you've seen me show it in the order. I, I showed it in the order of my favorite. The coat, the shoes, the pants, the sweater, the sweater, the sweater, the sweats. Wow, I did that really good. Anyway, blessings to you guys. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, blessings.